Hi, I'm Ben from Twinkle, and today I'm out in the garden looking for mini beasts. To find mini beasts, try looking low to the ground, under or around plants. If you don't have many plants or a garden, you could go and look in a local park. Try using these word cards to help identify the mini beasts you've found. Lots of mini beasts like living near water. If you've got a pond and it's safe to do so, you can hunt for mini beasts there. And again, we've got some word cards to help you identify the creatures you find. You might even find a whole mini beast life cycle, like this caterpillar, this chrysalis, and then this butterfly. I'm at an allotment, which is a great place to grow lots of different things, from vegetables to flowers. And it's also a great place to look for mini beasts. Lots of mini beasts, like these beetles and worms and wood lice, live all over the ground. You can often find them underneath things like wood or rocks. Another place to find lots of mini beasts is in a composter. Lots of creatures work together to break down all sorts of different plants and grass cuttings and bits of old hedges to make them into lovely new compost. After you've been out in the garden, you might like to write about what you've seen, and these mini beast verb word cards are a fantastic help. If it's a bit of a wet day, or you just haven't managed to find any mini beasts, you could use this interactive painting tool to paint lots of different creatures, imagining what colours they might be. I had great fun doing this snail.